Hey stock traders, Johnny Red here from Transparent Traders and today we're going to talk about how to set up your desktop platform for trading options. I'm going to go over what I think is the most efficient way for day trading and I mean you can utilize this for swing trading but basically if you're trading off the desktop this is what I feel is the best setup for the Webull platform. So let's get into it folks. All right, folks, we have the Webull platform pulled in so up. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to log into your account. Um, next thing you'll want to do is you'll want to come down here and click on the little paint paintbrush. That's going to bring up all your different layouts and you're, we're going to make one for option trading now um, to be as efficient as possible. So we're going to start with picking a blank canvas, basically layout and first thing we want to do is we want to get two charts then we're going to do the options we're also going to do active trader price ladder come over here to general and we will do watch list we'll do news we're going to do uh, positions, orders, and I believe that is it. And order entry. Okay. So now that we got all these up, first thing we'll do is we'll pull all these down here just to get them out of our way for just a few minutes. So this is your orders. Positions. All right, and the news. And of course your watch list. So we're gonna put one chart over here and one the options over here. So we'll spread this out. And then we'll spread the chart out to kind of match and as we pull them down. Then just kind of divide your screen up between the chart and the options just so that they're about equal. Then we're going to put our active trader right here. And then we will get her, our price ladder, not active trader. We will get our active trader next. And we're going to move it right here. I got the wrong one. Let me remove this one real quick. Remove. Come back over here to the little suitcase. And we want the active trader. Close that out. Make it match. All right. Then we're going to put our next chart up here. So basically why we're having two charts is these two are going to be connected, which we can go ahead and do this. We're going to connect all four of these two. Just set them on group one. And that's just basically so that as soon as you select one of these options right here, it changes your, your chart to so you can see the price movement for the chart. Your price ladder is going to go automatically to um, the option contract. So if you're used to trading off the price ladder, you can see you can buy a limit or you can sell limit. Um, so that's your, your type right there just so that you know you can come in here and you can, you can change, you can do your ladder settings and stuff if you want to. Um, but that's basically your price ladder. A lot of people like to trade off the price ladder. I don't really trade off the price ladder, but I am I put this on there so everybody can see that you can trade off the price ladder if you'd like. Uh, so over here in this area, we're going to get our chart set up. This one is going to kind of be by itself. We're going to make it just a tad smaller. And then our watch list is going to come up here.
and we will shrink the watch list down. Um, you could do the setup of the watch list, remove some of these columns, um, edit watch list. And of course, you can remove stuff, add stuff, change your watch list to something different that you already have it on. Click done and you're fine. So we'll set that one right there. So then your news, we'll put it over here. So this is going to be all your positions that you basically have open right now. So you'll want to put those, put that in right here. And then we have our orders and we have our order entry. So this is all the orders we have up currently. So that's all your orders. This is all the positions you currently hold. This is will be every order you're waiting to fill. So what I also like to do is, where's my, the news you can come in here and when you put it in there and you see the screen highlight blue, that's basically letting you know that you're going to drop that in with the same thing as your, your positions. So this one I like to, Go ahead and make all of this stuff number two, just so you can click. You can have your watch list here, and you can be looking at the different charts while you're going. Um, then, of course, you'll set this to two as well. And that's just kind of showing you that the news and everything that's going on there. And, of course, you can toggle back to your news. So the order entry, because every time you do this, um, click on those, it'll always bring that up. So I like to share it over here with the orders and you'll have your order entry screen there as well. So, um, basically now, and we're going to do the order entry. We'll toggle to number one. So now we're going to get into the last part and that's setting up the active trader for how I like, um, options to be. So we'll come over here and we'll click the three little dots. Go to Active Trader Settings. It'll pull up this screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn off all the uh, stock order selections. Shrink that down. So for options, I want to have buy the market, buy the bid, buy customized, sell market, sell bid, sell customized. So what I do for buy market, of course, that's one contract. Buy bid, I come in there and make sure it's one contract. For an offset, if I'm buying the bid, I always put a limit offset of five cents. For the customize, because I change this to mid because my customize, I want to be able to buy the ask, buy the bid, and buy the middle price. And I put an offset of two cents in there. Um, sell the market, one contract. Let me just make sure those were all one. Okay. Sell the market one contract. Sell the bid one contract with an offset of negative 0.5. Sell the customized, which is the mid, with a negative 2 offset. So, you know, the buy customized, sell customized match, except for the negative. Same thing for the others. And then I normally come in here and go to, let's see, general settings next. I like to try to squeeze everything in one column. So then we'll come in here and we'll go done. And we can make this limit just a little bit smaller, the price ladder. And then you can see here it's buy market, buy the bid, buy the mid, sell market, sell bid, sell by the mid. You click on one any of these, that's the contract you're buying on. Um, if you're wanting to buy more all the time, of course, you can just come down here, put in five. Once you choose that check mark, it automatically does that. I mean, if you never buy anything other than five, where I set all these to one in the settings, you can set them to five. I just prefer to keep everything at one, and then I can change it as I need it down here. But I believe that kind of takes care of how to set up the option platform. So if you got any questions, drop them into the comments and uh, let me know what you think. If you've got better ways of doing stuff, let me know. But I think this is the most efficient way to set up for trading options. So as always, folks, base hits pad the wallet. Johnny Red out.